On a typical weekday, more than a million people ride the Toronto subway. Although the TTC has made many improvements over the decades, a group of chemical engineering students at the U of T have found the tunnels fall short of healthy air standards. Uh, we've been interested in air quality in the subway uh, for over a decade. Uh, it has changed over that time. One of the big improvements has been on line one when they put new trains in. But unfortunately, on line two, uh, the air quality has been about the same and it's not great compared to many subway systems around the world. A team of six students commuted on line two riding the length of line two for about two hours per trip. So a lot of iron rich, a lot of uh, trace metals such as uh, copper, chromium, manganese and zinc. Uh, and these are known to be, uh, like the met trace metals are known to be uh, a main indicator of toxicity uh, of the particulates. While there's no clear threshold for the health effects, Health Canada recommends particulate matter should be kept as low as possible indoors. Filtration on the train cars keeps levels slightly higher than street level. The pollutants are much worse on the platforms. The platforms have, I think, around uh, two to three times the uh, concentration values of the uh, pollutants on the trains. The sample size was small, but for this project, no cause for serious concern was found for the average commuter. So if someone does is vulnerable, may have uh, pre-existing conditions already, you know, if they are prolonged riding the subway, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, at least two to three times a day, I, we may suggest wearing a mask that just to protect themselves, you know, not just so from the poor air quality. But for TTC workers, exposure time is much longer, spending most of their shifts in the tunnels. We know and we, that everybody has a responsibility to produce a safe environment for workers, for riders, for everybody. And at times in the past, we do feel at times that those issues and concerns were not addressed, addressed at all. The TTC said in a statement, safety of customers and employees is paramount. Numerous tests and studies have shown the air quality is safe and improving. Air quality in Toronto's subway system is comparable to other systems in North America. The TTC has been given permission to acquire new train cars from Alstom Transport Canada, the same company that built the train cars for Line 1. Evans says that the new braking systems on the new trains helps decrease the pollutants in Line 1 and hopes that they'll do the same for Line 2. In Toronto, Beverly Andrews, City News.